Albert Mintz from uh, Jamaica, Long Island, New York. Right. Well, what kind of stuff uh, are, we, are we watching uh, at the screen? Right now, you are looking at a clip from the film Health of Poppin. The dance is called the Lindy Hop. Uh-huh. Uh, from what year? It came, it's, it was uh, developed in the late, let's say about 1929, and it really, it developed through the years, and about 1937, it took to the air. We started putting aerials into it. And then you were a youngster? Oh, yeah, I was 17 years old. And today you are? 64. Uh-huh. And still a dancer? Still a dancer. Uh -huh. What, 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 uh, what makes you dance? What, what, tell me, what, what's, what's your well, fine with dancing? Uh, I've always liked it. I mean, I don't know why. I started dancing when I was five years old. Uh -huh. In New York City? In New York City, in the streets. And, uh, for money? For money. People would, would get in a circle, all the kids, and would just clap our hands. Like that? Yeah, yeah and dance. And, uh, we collect money, and then after, it was during the Depression. And after we'd get, gotten all we could off of that corner, we'd go to another corner. And then at the end of maybe about two hours or so, going from one corner to another, we'd sit down with or divide the money that we'd made. Well, what kind of dancing? What was it? Uh, we did the Charleston. Did the no, 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 no. No jitterbug then. Came later. Yeah, we did the Charleston. We did the um, Snake Hips. We did a Black Bottom. No, those kind of dances. Uh -huh. Of course, I mean, they don't mean anything today. They, only the Charlton is recognized, too. How, how do you look at the rock and roll? Well, there is no rock and roll dance, really. See, rock and roll, as we know it in the States, is merely listened to. You don't dance off of it. So, so if I ask you to, to uh, stay up and dance some rock and roll, you, you, you could show that? Well, if I were to dance rock and roll to Bill Haley, I could dance rock, I could Mindy Hop because he does it on an eight count. But most rock and roll that I hear sounds, I mean, the beat is almost like country western. So it's a flat-footed kind of stomping, whereas the swing is on your toes. You, you know, you know, you are a swing dancer. I'm a swing dancer. Mm -hmm. well, tell me, what, what's the jitterbug? The jitterbug, I don't know if I should say this. <laughs> Come on, Al. All right. Well, the jitterbug, we call people who would just jump on the floor without any knowledge of what they were doing and go mad with the drum and whatnot and just go boo -doo 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 -doo, and shaking their heads and just jump up and down without any control. We no, call that's it. the way I dance. Oh, shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> now, what we call a jitterbug. That's it. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Uh, Al, you have been dancing with all the greats. You've been in Hollywood. You've been touring all the world. Right. Uh, who, is, who is the greatest dancer in all categories? That is an impossible question to answer because most of your very famous dancers are great dancers. And the thing is, see, in order to say that one dancer is greater than another is, is just very difficult because... Each one has his own personality, and each one affects people in different ways. And um, I, I... Now, see, the thing is, in jazz dancing, in swing dancing, you have no way of comparing tap dancers, or because each one is an individual. Whereas in ballet, you have people doing the same, uh, 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 what do you call it, routines. So therefore, you can... You can compare uh, uh, Barishnikov against Nureyev doing the same routine. So therefore, you can say, well, one is does it better than the other. Yeah. But tap dancers and Lindy Hoppers and swing dancers, none of them do the same routine. So that means we, we shouldn't compare Fred Astaire to Al Mintz. That's right. That's right. You shouldn't compare Fred Astaire to Bill Robinson. You shouldn't compare Gene Kelly to uh, uh, Chuck Green. Mm -hmm. I mean, because they're all individuals. That's what I think. Uh, when I watch, for example, Gene Kelly yeah. doing that dance in, in Singing in the Rain, you mm -hmm. know, it makes me... One of the greatest yeah. numbers ever put on screen. But it's see, he's not really tap dancing. Uh -huh. He's doing a sauce shoe. But it makes me so happy. It's a happy number. But, but, but what's, what's in dance uh, that makes you so happy? 
I believe it's the union of the body with the rhythm and the sound of the music. You know, you can, a person doesn't have to make big movements in order to look good dancing if they feel the music. I mean, if they just sway with the music, you know, just... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it.